what you want to do. Living in sin. Is that right? You, I mean, you get made your mind. You, you the Lord of your life now. You do what you want to do. Yeah. Put God on the back of yeah. I'm blessed anyway. No, you ain't. Yeah. You see, you made an idol God because of what you just said. Yeah. You serving the wrong kind of God. The Bible says here, blessed are they that do his commandments. Mm -hmm. You see that? Uh -huh. That they may have a right to the tree of life mm -hmm. and may enter in through the gates into the city. So the, the ones that are really blessed are the ones that's doing the commandments of God Amen. or doing the word of God. Amen. You know, he goes beyond the Ten Commandments. Y'all know that, don't you? Right. Yeah. I mean, in the New Testament, they make, Jesus gave all kinds of commandments. He said, go into all the world. That's a commandment. Is that right? And preach the gospel to every creature. I mean, there's more commandments in the New Covenant than the Old Covenant. Amen. That's something to think about, ain't it? Amen. Amen. Many, many times we want to we want a religion. Well, not, I hate to say religion because Christianity is not a religion. It's a relationship. Amen. You see, religion is man trying to work his way to God. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. Religion is man trying to work his way to God. Right. Right. That's religion. You see, Christianity is not a religion. It's a relationship. Right. Right. It's a person. It's, a, it's, a, it's all about Jesus. Amen. It's God manifested in the flesh. It was God in Christ, reconciling the world to himself. That's what Christianity is. Christianity is not religion. It's a relationship with Christ. You understand what I'm saying? So, in other words, we must have a relationship with Christ. When we have a relation with relationship with Christ, guess what? The commandments won't be any problem. Amen. When you don't have a relationship with Christ, that's when the commandments become a problem. Many times, let me say it like this. Folk don't want to be told what to do. Right. You want to be honest about it? Folk, let me, let me, let me say it more. Honestly. Church folk <laughs> don't want to be told what to do. Amen. Guess what? They'll tell you what to do in your job. Yes, you God. better be here on time or you're going to be fired. Guess what? We be obedient. Amen. Is that right? Amen. But God requires more of us. Amen. He requires more of us. He requires faithfulness in us. Is that right? Amen. We treat jobs better than we do, we do God. Amen. We treat our businesses better than we do God. Amen. We treat our homes better than we do God. Yeah. We treat our cars better than we do God. Amen. We clean the car, we're looking good. But we fail to clean God, help God. Mm. Clean, you know, do something around the church or anything. I'm just saying some things. Y'all know what I'm saying. Amen. But look at this here. It says, blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right. Now, this is New Covenant. Everybody say New Covenant. New covenant. Everybody say New Testament. New Testament. Man, so we say, that's Old Covenant. Now, this is New Testament. This is in Evidence. As a matter of fact, this is in Revelation. <laughs> is that right? This is in the book of Revelation, New Testament stuff here. Is that right? Amen. Blessed are they that do His commandments, that they may have a right. Everybody say right. Right. The reason you have right because you do. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? The reason you have a right to notice to the tree of life is because you do. Yeah. Amen. Ooh, that's powerful. Then. Come on. Amen. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Amen. New covenant. New covenant. New covenant. Not old covenant. New covenant. Everybody say new covenant. New covenant. If you love me, keep my commandments. He said, he that loveth me is the one that keepeth my commandments. So in other words, if you really love Jesus, if you really love God, you're going to be keeping his word, keeping his commandments. Is that right? Amen. And may enter in through the gates into the city. Come on, Judy, tell us something. Amen. You know, I was thinking that there's a difference between blessed. God's people are blessed. Yeah. Some other folks are lucky. Yeah. <laughs> because, you know, there are laws in the world. And there are things that, I mean, you give, it's going to be given back to you. Uh -huh. Amen. You know, that's why so many celebrities and everyone give. So charitable. Mm -hmm. A lot of that, first of all, has to do with the fact that if they don't, they're going to pay a lot of taxes. Uh -huh. They're going to lose a whole lot of money. Mm -hmm. But they will gain a lot of money if they give. Amen. If you're sure you're supporting something. So it's like you're just so blessed. And there are some people that, you know, we may know that who are not living right, doing things wrong, dishonestly, on purpose, and have everything look like they're doing really good. And so we call them blessed. That's not blessed. That's what I call luck. You're just lucky. God's people are blessed. When you are blessed, it's because you are following what God has told you to do. Amen. God is pleased with you. He's well pleased with you. And now you have a right to the tree of life. Amen. But when you are gaining things by doing stuff that's honestly wrong on purpose, and you're continually to do those things, you're lucky that you're still yet alive, breathing, and in your right mind. Uh -huh. You see, the world uses luck a lot. And that's because that's exactly what it is. Amen. You're lucky. You escaped. But God's people, we are just blessed people. 
And a lot of times when you're waiting on a blessing, it seems like it takes longer. It takes longer. And that's because our blessings a lot of times, they are conditional. We have to be conditioned for blessings. Because when blessings come, something is leaving. Amen. Something in us that's not of God is leaving. Amen. Something we're giving up something in order to attain other things from the Lord. Amen. And we have to know sometimes we do it willingly and sometimes it's unwillingly. Amen. You know, sometimes we're constantly holding on, to, try, trying to keep, like pastors say, we, we're told it's wrong or not to do it and we're still doing it. We don't want to let go and let God. Amen. You know, we want to keep holding on to this thing because it's comfortable for us. Mm -hmm. But what we got to understand is that all we're doing is prolonging what God is trying to get to us. Amen. That's right. You know, then we mess up. Now we got some more stuff that's going to cause that blessing to be delayed even longer. Amen. You understand? So what God wants us to do is he wants us to recognize who we are. Mm -hmm. Knowing that we're blessed, even though situations and circumstances may say different. Yeah. Amen. We don't look at those things. We're not supposed to. Amen. God, you said I'm blessed, so I'm blessed. You understand? Amen. You said, God, that whatever I put my hands to, you're going to bless. Amen. We have to be firm and we have to be persuaded that what God said, what he promised us is so. Amen. And I'm saying that because, you know, a lot of times we are we are we are give let go and let God and we put our hands back on it again. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm guilty, and I put my hand back on it again, or you put your mouth back on it again. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we just gotta be quiet. Mm -hmm. That's letting go yeah, and letting God. Amen. Sometimes you can be right in what you say, but you just need to be quiet because you done said it over and over again. Is that right? Amen. And you saying it again is just going to make matters worse. Amen. So that's when you know you've got to let go. Yeah. That means to be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> Hold your peace. Yeah. And let God work this thing out. Yeah. Because we can't save or change anyone. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. But what we can do is we can hinder them yeah. and cause them to stay in a, in a bad state longer. Yeah. Why? Because we keep butting in. <laughs> Is that right? Yes, so what we have to do, that's why we have to exercise restraints. Right. Mm -hmm. Because when you've done all that you can do, mm -hmm. that's all you can do. Yeah. That means it's God's time. Yeah. That means let go yeah. and let God. Yeah. Amen. 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 So when we can let go, no matter how painful it seems or, or how bad it seems, you know how we love this one or that or, or situations on our jobs or whatever it is. We want to put our hands back on or put our mouth back on. We need to be quiet, let go, and let God. Amen? Amen. Amen. And once we do that, all we're doing is allowing blessings to come back to us. Amen. And not only that, but guess what? We're becoming more like Christ. Amen. We have self-control. So we learn that there are times when we got to, in order to be blessed, and we got to do the commandments of God, that is one of the commandments of God. Because the word of God says to what? Be slow to speak, uh -huh. swift to hear. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. And we're supposed to be what? Slow to wrath? Right. Is that right? Amen. So it's all in the word of God, and that's why the fruits of the Spirit come into play. Amen. We have to perfect the fruits of the Spirit, allow them to grow on the inside of us. Mm -hmm. And the more they grow, the more our flesh decrease, our spirit increase, mm -hmm. we line up with God more, we look like him, we talk like him, we act like him, yes. and then we be blessed like him. Amen. 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 Many times our mouths get us in trouble. Amen. Is that right? Well, let me not many times, all the time. <laughs> our mouths get us in trouble.